All right, hey, welcome back to Car Talks, where I rant, ramble, rave, and word about my thoughts on training, life, and fitness. Thinking about this morning, understanding or visualizing the negative things, or maybe the outcomes that you don't want. I posted this on my Instagram story, I think, last night, but, I mean, when the time this video comes out, it'll be weeks ago. But, a lot of times we're always told, think positive thoughts, think positive. Um... And I think a lot of times when we just think positive, we don't set ourselves up for success when the bad things come. And so many times you hear people say, all right, you will it into action. And that can be true, right? Like you can visualize things and will them into place, but at some point bad stuff is gonna happen or at least the outcome that you want isn't going to happen. You're gonna lose a game. You're gonna miss a lift. You're not gonna get the job you want, right? And that's kind of what sparked this for me you know, interviewing for, you know, some different positions and didn't get them, right? Uh, Not having a job at the same facility, at least as like a full-time staff member anymore. Like, you know, that that was not a fun time. And I think a lot of times when we look at mentality, a lot of people don't ever consider things going wrong. Right? They get caught in this think positive mind frame and ultimately it doesn't set you up for success for handling when the negative stuff happens because it's going to happen. Nobody has a only positive life. Negative things happen. It could be a argument with your you know, significant other. It could be a, uh, an injury. It could be the loss of a job. It could be uh, like I said, loss of the game, um, rejection, things like that. Negative stuff happens in life. And so to mentally prepare, it's not that you want to dwell on those things, but you have to remind yourself that those are possibilities. You have to remind yourself that at some point, there's a possibility that you could um, not get the outcome you want. And if you do that, you prepare yourself, you set yourself up for success to handle those things uh, in a better emotional state and to not have it affect um, your day-to-day life as much. It doesn't cause you as much stress. And I think that's one of the big things, the big takeaway we want you know, to get across here is if you allow yourself to at least entertain the possibility and imagine your own response to a negative outcome or the outcome that you don't want, you're going to handle a potential negative outcome in a more effective manner. So it's just something for you to think about this morning. It's okay to visualize the bad stuff happening. Don't dwell on it. You can visualize yourself handling it uh, in a good manner. And until next time, we'll see you in the passenger seat.